Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome. I am Hayden Dingman. I'm here with Adam Patrick Murray. Hello. And I'm here with Brad Charkis. I am very excited about this. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. Uh, we are here to play. You want to introduce it, Brad? Control by Remedy. Yeah, Control. Max Payne 4? Uh, no, but it is, I would say... Alan Wake 2. Ooh. Uh, awesome. This is my first time seeing it in action, too, so I'm very excited about yeah, this. Yeah, so they haven't... Um, I don't know if you have followed Control or how much you follow Control, but they... Uh, Remedy has basically said, hey, th this was our like draft for Alan Wake 2 at one point, and <laughs> really? then we reworked it into Control wow. um, at, I had no at, idea. at a different time. Uh, and you can tell there are explicit references to Alan Wake in this game that... Uh, I w we don't need to spoil, but there are uh, you, more than a few references. Do you feel like you need to play Alan Wake to understand? No, control? absolutely not. Oh, okay. So control is basically. Um, have you seen Annihilation? Either of yes. you? Did you see Annihilation, Brad? Uh, probably not. Uh, okay, so Annihilation was an adaptation of a book trilogy, or the first book in a trilogy, uh, the Southern Reach trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer, uh, which is basically like a the genre is called New Weird. And it is um, sort of like cosmic horror, uh, except also sort of just like a lot of government bureaucracy stuff. Um, weird stuff that's like a uh, pseudo paranormal. Um, anyways, this I can is, say I have not seen that movie. This <laughs> is a uh, an adaptation. So it's not an adaptation. Uh, they have referenced Annihilation while making this game. And honestly, after reading the books. So there's a character in. Uh, the Southern Reach trilogy that it goes by the name Control. So they like really have an unofficial adaptation thing going with this. <laughs> uh, but basically you play as uh, Jesse Faden who um, gets into this building in Manhattan that is called the Bureau. It is the Federal Bureau of Control. It is a government agency and they uh, watch over what they call uh, altered world objects or altered objects i can look it up um th there are a lot of collectibles in this game uh yeah. similar to quantum break um and i i should we'll just pull one of these up the uh the uh things that they've done with these collectibles are actually really fascinating there are, a lot of them are fmv with um who i believe is the guy who played alan wake uh he's this dr darling character <laughs> Uh, and they're all like very well done. Like I would love to have these posters in my in my yeah. house. They're awesome. Yeah. Um, but anyways, th yeah, they have these altered objects uh, and objects of power. Um, so the objects of power are uh, ones that give you powers in the game. Um, so this floppy disk gives you a uh, telekinesis power. That's um, a really cool idea that you can throw. And so y if you go in and you read the whole thing about the. Uh, floppy disk it basically like tells you uh, it was stolen from a soviet military base it had nuclear codes on it and mm. anybody that touches it gets telekinesis powers and this home safe that you find at one point gives you a shield power <laughs> wait is this is this a period piece uh no it is a modern day thing oh, okay. but everything in the uh in the bureau is old technology because new technology basically starts to degrade in the house so you can see we have all these like old uh crt yeah. pcs um, Love it, and so we are like pretty far in the game. I've just pulled up a save, uh, but you ha you have actually beaten. The yeah, game. I've finished the game already, uh, and we've pulled up a save from pretty late in the game because I just wanted to have the flight power and all that. That's like the last one that you unlock. Uh, um, it looks fun. Yeah, it's it's great, uh, and we are in what's called the Panopticon. It's a sort of late game area where they keep all of the objects of power and the uh, altered uh, objects. Um, and so that was the like the swan up there. Mm -hmm. uh, if we run down here, there's like a, a plastic Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, I think at one point there's like a baby carriage, and the baby carriage just emits smoke. Uh, and anybody who breathes it, yeah, here we go. Uh, just like emits smoke. Uh. Just like all sorts of weird stuff like that that's a blend of, of – normal everyday objects with these weird paranormal I love it love uh, that vibe. supernatural events um and so yeah we're kind of just running around we don't really have a goal here uh i've i've kind of left it up to uh we're like in a, a middle area um 
where like we could go do a quest, but we're so late in the game, I don't really want to give anything yep. away like that. Uh, so we'll just sort of take a little tour of the research area and the containment area. So um, how much uh, of the combat is based off of gunplay versus using your powers? So your gun actually, I don't. So your gun transforms oh, uh, into not different a real shapes. Gun. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and so we have this is like a snipery one. Um, that you charge huh. up and you can change them out at any time. So, uh, we have a shotgun, we have a, like an SMG basically. Um, and then each of those has like mods. Uh, I will say the mod system is a little bit underbaked. Um, they're all kind of just, yeah, they're, they give you more damage and stuff like that, but there's nothing mm -hmm. like really amazing. Oh wow. I can't believe that I, now I recharge health or anything <laughs> like that. Um, you also have personal mods that sort of add they're, they're all like the really boring loot game stuff of like minus 18 percent plus 39 yeah. percent stuff like that um but the actual weapon is cool this is the smg one uh and That's your cool. ammo carries over between weapon forms so as we like shoot through you'll notice it's just going down on both and then when you run out you have to start using your powers uh, and then once you run out of powers, you usually switch back to your guns. So you end up in like a, a cycle basically during combat where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm out of ammo, so now I'm going to throw a couple of guys around. And then, oh, now I've got ammo again, so I'll fire a few rounds and off. And they both recharge. And yeah, and they both recharge. Sweet. So uh, it's basically like waiting for cooldowns to finish up. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, we can walk through here. We have uh, this guy guards the, uh, the objects. That's his whole job. Um, and there's just like amazing, like I love the construction of this whole building yeah. that Remedy's made. Everything is like this amazing brutalist Isn't style. Isn't that shot right there the one they've been using to promote it? Uh, probably. It's yeah. a really neat shot. Uh, so yeah, you have a couple of these. They call them fire breaks. We can pull up the uh, the map here and you can see there's like this fire break thing where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and so basically the Bureau has put these um like big empty areas in between the really dangerous stuff and <laughs> the parts that they use every day. That's awesome. Uh, and then there's also like a bunch of secrets. So, you know, we can fly up here. Um, Wait, what, what was it you were collecting in Alan Wake? Was it like a thermos? The coffee cups. So yeah. that's one of the things uh, we can actually, I can, I can pull that one up because I think that one's really early. Uh, yeah. So there is a, the Alan Wake <laughs> thermos gets its own and, nice. it's, and it says like, uh, it keeps the, the beverage warm for a weird amount of time. And that's the only thing that we found out about it. Uh, so that's really fun. Um, but yeah, so you, there are a bunch of, uh, hidden areas. Some of them are actually cool and have new collectibles. So th that's the thing is like the collectibles are really the stuff that you want to find in this game when you're hunting around the, the other areas. Cause the rest is just these stuff. mods and the mods are all randomized so it doesn't ever feel like you've like oh i found yeah. this one that was hidden in this area it's just like ah another 19 percent damage increase or whatever um but Man. yeah so the bureau is under attack by the hiss which is uh like basically a, a frequency and everybody who's affected by it oh nice catch everybody who's affected by it goes into this weird floaty phase um, but those are civilians, right? Like you yeah, those are people that worked them? at oh, the okay. at the thing, um, and then the soldiers uh -huh. are all uh, also <laughs> affected by the hiss, and so they'll actually like fall out of the sky as you walk in usually. Um, but every area just repopulates once you've finished with it, so uh, you'll never like clear out everybody in the in the game. So when you come back uh -huh. to old areas, you'll always have more guys to fight that looks um, uh pretty satisfying the uh, the launch ability around. is great uh and it's like it's amazing because you don't have to actually aim at anything so you can you can like oh i want to throw this cart right mm -hmm. aim at it throw it but also it'll just like pull something like whatever is around <laughs> uh so sometimes you'll just like it'll just pull like a uh somebody's shooting at me it'll just pull like a piece out of the wall uh or out of the floor Ooh, sometimes <laughs> So like, yeah, like that. You can just like pull what? pieces out of the wall. Wow. Uh, and it like does all the appropriate destruction. It's incredible. Look, like, you know what's incredible? These uh, reflections That's on the floor. Man, yeah. what the hell's going on there? So yeah, we should mention uh, we have RTX on. RTX on. Uh, and we have all the RTX on. And you can see uh, up in the in the top left, we have a, a performance thing. We're getting a steady 60, but we're running a, a 20 ATI, right, 20 ATI, correct. Uh, and that's what I played on at home as well. 
Um, we can toggle it on and off. Uh, this is maybe not the best area. Um, it's got some good reflections on the yeah, floor. Yeah, I was going to try and get up to some of the glass because that's the areas that I always notice it. Um, so, like... Uh, NVIDIA has been really excited about this game for a while because most of the games that have come out so far, like uh, Battlefield Five, it'll have one ray tracing technology. Like that one does reflections. Yeah, so this we is have one of the first games. Ray trace reflections, transparent reflections, indirect diffuse lighting, contact shadows, and debris uh, all turned on. Um, and yeah, you really notice it. So like right here, we can. This is a good one. So yeah. like you can see the clock uh, wow. from over here, and these, even in the clock, there's reflections. These mail tubes, yeah. Uh, and so we can then go ahead and turn that off, and like you lose all of that. Wow. Uh, and so I've actually that's I, a great demonstration. Of I, I came in here and said earlier like this is the first because we played Metro and there was some neat stuff with Metro's RTX uh, in terms of the shadows especially. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first game where I've played it and or played with RTX on and felt like it really made a huge difference. And that's why I kind of wanted to get to the, the glass area because like the floor reflections are neat. Yeah, actually, like, you you still, could, they're still there. You can see this and yeah. like yeah, you get the fake reflections yep. still, mm -hmm. and so you kind of don't notice most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever like you get to one of these, there's so many of these like big office glass pane things in this in this game. Uh, that's very noticeable. And different. all of those end up being like, oh, yeah, there's definitely something different. Like this right here. Um, I bet if we turn the RTX back on, um, we'll get reflections on that again. Yeah. So, like, you can see wow. it, like, clears up. You get the reflection of this uh, staircase banister in there. I, w I would say it's subtle, but what made it jump out to me early is when you went into that room where you were explaining the hiss, and yeah. when all the red lights started coming down, yep. and you could see it reflecting off all the ground and the windows, and it was really cool. Yeah, and that's the thing is like I, um, I really feel like, like yeah, it's it's a subtle thing that like is mostly Im impressive to graphics nerds, mm -hmm. and like the thing about uh, <laughs> thing about RTX, I guess in this game especially is it's like. One of those things where it just works the way that you would expect it to work in the real world. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of don't notice it because you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's how glass is supposed to work. And then you turn it off and you're like, oh, yeah, this is how yep. video game glass actually works. Um, so the ones that I've like noticed a lot are, I don't know if we'll be able to find one, but there are, there are like posters on the wall in certain places in this game. Uh, oh, like this. Yeah. So like oh, we can cool. see this whole reflection, right? Yep. And like... Yeah, that's how it would be in real life. Like yeah. you would get and go that that move glare. it so it's back on the other side too. Like uh, it yeah, changes over here. Yep, that's super cool. We get based on material, and then like we can go and just turn all that off, and then it just looks like a normal video game. <laughs> oh, there's like not even <laughs> yeah, a fake there's reflection. No, there's a, some fake reflection on this one. There's none on this. Wow. Um, Honestly, I, I'm yep. noticing it a lot on on the character model too. The the lighting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it it makes her pop off the screen so much more. And so that's the, those are the places that I've really noticed it because those are like things that kind of don't matter. But once you have it, it's like so noticeable. <laughs> like, oh yeah, of course <laughs> it would reflect this off of the back wall. Uh, and the fact that you don't have that most of the time, you would just not even register it. Um, stuff like that I think is, is really neat. And this is like the first time where I've seen all of that stuff kind of come together in a way that really makes a difference. Uh, it makes the, the environment of this like f weird brutalist house feel a little mm -hmm. grounded, which is neat because it's like such a weird environment. Uh, it needs that element of realism to really work. This, uh, the scene that uh, reinforces my belief that I've had ever since I first saw Battlefield Five with ray tracing oh, no. on a Gamescom last year. Yeah. Where I would really love a stealth game that just turns all of this stuff on. Like, I would love to see, you know, Thief done with yep. ray tracing like this. Yeah, like it, the, I mean, that was kind of the, the thing that I thought was neat about Metro was it got so dark in those, yep. those scenes. Um, but yeah, it's still not a stealth game at heart. Because uh, you that that would genuinely be tactic tactically useful. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've got these floaty guys. Not the official name. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if, yeah. if if you find like a, a a glass thing again and you shoot at it and it shatters, you're still getting reflections in all the glass shards, correct? I th would believe so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can find something over here. There Man, we go. that flying looks pretty fun. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess go really small. To yeah, it gets small. real okay. small. It gets like safety glass size. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the whole thing with the ray tracing that it does model itself like around the actual rays, so it, it does make that difference. Yeah, I mean it should. Uh, and so yeah, as I said, we're kind of uh, we don't have like an objective here, so we're just kind of floating around showing you some of the environments. I actually, you know what? Let's let's do it here. Just the the different I think lighting model. This off okay. Yeah. I'm I'm curious to see the the lighting. And that's the thing is there are a lot of like high contrast areas like that too. Um, yeah. I mean, it still looks good. Yeah, it's I mean, definitely not and the that's same. The thing is, the RTX off in these areas. I think, like a lot of this is is um, reflection based for me. Uh, that's the stuff that I find most interesting. Yeah. Um, but you do get those deeper shadows and stuff. And uh, it's interesting to see you see it like pop in in a second as you hit exit or escape. Yeah. Uh, where you're almost seeing the calculations play out in real time, so you're like seeing the light bounce around real quick. Huh. Yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a really cool showcase for NVIDIA uh, and for for ray tracing, um, and that's kind of it's like the first one of those that we've had that I've mm -hmm. felt like we could point to, like with Battlefield and stuff. It was like looking at puddles, right, and being yeah. like, well, and, how many and, people and, are actually gonna notice this? Um, in Metro, you could feel it, but it was hard to see. Yeah, it was hard to like point out, like, oh, this is the the difference here, and there's still like. There's some reflections mm -hmm. uh, in some of this stuff. Uh, like, I, I don't want to make it sound like Remedy has made a bad-looking game when you don't have the RTX on, because they haven't. Like, I think this still yep. looks pretty damn good. It's a cherry on top. Um, but, yeah, like, like stuff like this. The glass is, as I said, where I mostly notice it, where I'm like, yeah, okay. That, like, that it looks, looks like, like standard glass. It looks like standard game. video game it's a video glass. Game. Yeah. Uh, and then when you go back and turn it back on, it's like, oh yeah, like there's just like that added layer of depth. You get all these weird reflections from the room. Um, I think it's like a really neat effect that they've got going. So, um, and yeah, just enhances that, uh, enhances the realism in a in a neat way. Um, so do do you think? Because when man, you I love the scenes in this. That was yeah, so cool. yeah, right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run in there real quick. So this is like their fake astral plane that these guys set up to <laughs> like train people. And there's like a memo that's like, yeah, we ran out of money, so it's a really bad representation. <laughs> but you know, we did what we could, so it's all just like bad plywood and stuff. Uh, and so, the, I also want to say, like, the destruction in this game is amazing. Uh, like when you're doing all this this telekinesis stuff, it's super cool. And also when you fly over small stuff, it all comes and floats with you, uh, which I think is a really neat touch. Wow. It's almost like you have like an area around you. Yeah, that's exactly. Also that's also floating. So it's not it's, just your person. It's a really neat uh, that's cool. idea. Uh, so obviously we're running on a 2080 Ti here. Um, what 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 are you using at home and 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 we're, we have to capture at 1080p. That's just kind of uh, yeah. I was doing is, a 2080 Ti at home also. Are, are you at 1080p? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it high frame rate or? Uh, no? Yeah, it was all uh, uh, in terms of the monitor. Yeah, no. your monitor. No, uh, okay. Because they got rid of uh, this is really niche, but they got rid of the connection that I used for oh. uh, my 144 hertz. So, oh no. Okay. And my monitor does not have Display Port, so. Oh. Uh, so have you have you had any performance hiccups on the uh, 2080 Ti? I mean, few that are probably ray tracing related. Uh, usually, it's like a bunch of enemies spawn in, and you can notice like a second of hiccuping, but it has not been. Yeah, I'm it's curious. It's mostly been like this. Like uh, this has been steady 60 the whole time. And yeah, that's mostly been my experience at home. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how it runs on the lower cards. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised. It's I'm actually as well as it is. I'm mostly curious to see uh, how it works on hard drives because I think that's been the bottleneck for me because oh. um, I have it installed to a hard drive not an SSD mm. uh, and it seems like it's like streaming issues that I'm having not uh, not card related issues so so you gotta use uh, like in this you're using the, the uh, telekinesis or whatever to like bring down their armor and yeah that guy? bring down the shield on that guy and then you can shoot him from there and you can also just shoot him it just takes forever right. yeah. Um, so yeah we also have uh, as I said we have a like a dodge ability, uh, and then the shield ability, um, and all of those <laughs> upgrades. So you can eventually like throw the stuff that you mm -hmm. use for the shield. Um, Remedy isn't famous for their action as much as their scenes well, they are. In the story. But no, yeah, because the Max dive, Payne man, is bulletproof like, diving, and that's the thing. Like that, that's what's so interesting about Control to me is that Max Payne was like a a top tier action game and also a really good story. Max Payne is and amazing. then they kind of moved away from that, and Alan Wake was like very slow. Yep. 
uh, and then uh, Quantum Break was good uh, and more actiony than uh, than Alan Wake was, but it was still like kind of a slow paced yep. yeah, game. Yeah, those are the, what I'm thinking of because Max Payne's been uh, like a decade. Yeah, it's Max yeah, all, f- f- that was well, Rockstar. They, yeah, they didn't even do Max Payne three. Yeah. They only did Max Payne one and two, and two was like 2004 or whatever. Uh, they haven't done like a really big action game in 15 years now. So. Um, yeah, we're over here. Uh, we got like a there's a mold infestation in the basement, um, <laughs> so we can. Uh, I would not survive. I'm allergic to mold. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like slowly taking over the the oldest house. That's the building that you're in. So. Oh no, this is um, already giving me anxiety. Yeah, so now we got some mold people to fight. It's like like my oh, kryptonite. Man. I just want to play this game. And yeah. use that power. Yeah, that's pretty really much the uh, that's the hook. I think. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a really fascinating game. Like we haven't talked much about the story or anything because I think that's what you come to a remedy game for. Yep. Uh, and all I can say is like I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a much longer game than I would have expected. It's probably I don't even know. It's much longer than I would have expected. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, and all of the the collectibles and stuff. There are tons, as I said. Um, like we can we can tab over. Uh, this is probably like a third of the actual total because I were I jumped back a few missions in the game so we wouldn't spoil yeah. anything. Uh, and there's just so much, and all of them are really well written. They're all really fun to read. Uh, it covers like all the different departments um, in the in the games. Like if we pull up the map, there's like parapsychology, oh awesome, uh, rituals, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the ashtray maze, um, which is just like a a maze that continually regenerates around you so you can never get out mm-hmm. um it's just a really neat game with a lot of cool ideas and i'm glad that remedy finally uh, as i said it like feels like alan wake but alan wake with like a better playing game yep. at the heart of it because alan wake was a a super tedious yeah well, uh, th- th- again, I think we had made another video earlier. I think it kind of tied into the theme of that yeah. game, so it made sense. But I like this is like yeah, it's really nice to my name. play uh, play a version of that that you can just run around and do really cool <laughs> stuff in, uh, and all the powers, like all the flying and stuff. I think is just feels really good but you still gotta take elevators yeah <laughs> you can only fly so high brad even when you even when you gain the power from a sentient tv uh, you can only fly so high uh but yeah that's control uh adam i know you're gonna ask and i'm gonna say it's 59.99 it is a full price game it is but, a full priced game but uh, i don't know if i can control myself i'm pretty excited yeah i'm really excited uh i'm excited to see where they go from here i'm excited to see if they uh make an expansion for this because uh, quantum break they kind of just it kind of just died like they put it out and i don't know how well it sold uh but they definitely i don't think they added anything onto no. that um so I'm curious to see whether they actually do anything with this once it's done, uh, whether we get an expansion. Uh, Remedy owns well, the rights to Alan Wake again now. Oh, uh, that so was uh, yes. like last month's news or whatever. Yes. Yep. Um, and so that's really exciting because I have to imagine that's why we get Alan Wake references in this game uh, yep. is we might actually see. Uh, so I'll say this. This is the game that made me stop wishing for an Alan Wake 2 because I feel like this encapsulates the alan wake story yeah uh in a way that like feels like it covers what a sequel would do but in a bigger way like it just hints at a world that's much bigger than alan wake awesome. uh, which i think is neat yeah um and Whoa. yeah this is the, ash- Whoa, is the cool. ashtray maze which uh huh. we'll just end up back at the the start here in a second well speaking of uh <laughs> uh sales figures and stuff NVIDIA is actually bundling this game along with Wolfenstein Youngblood with RTX graphics cards right now. Yep. So I'm not just saying that like to pitch NVIDIA stuff because I don't care about that. I'm saying that because uh, that alone will give it a lot more sales figures than it would have had running by itself. Yeah, so my I, hopes are up because this, this this game's looking cool. Yeah, also, it's a good I really deal. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a great deal. I also really liked Youngblood. Like, we didn't do video on that, but I thought that game was cool, so... Uh, maybe not as good as Wolfenstein 2, but still really good. Mm-hmm. So, wow. yeah, good good for those guys. Good for Remedy. Uh, I really, I would like Remedy to have a win. Like, yeah. It feels like it's been a while for them. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, we can just leave off. Is this an RT? You said this was an RTX area? I'm not sure what it would, uh, what it would change here, but we can just. Uh, I'm saying, little, no, I just said brighter. that was the. Uh, That's their promo, promo shot. shots. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, the yeah, the, the lighting some, bounces some, around. The style shadow changes. The thing with RTX is it doesn't like it's Ooh. doing things that video game developers have cheated to make happen. Yep. just better, more natural. Yeah. So. I mean, no, I'm, with dedicated hardware. As I said, I think if you have an RTX card, you'll really appreciate this one. Like yeah. all of these weird reflections and stuff. All of this. That's all RTX. So The contact shadows are really cool too. That's Yeah, I think it'll be the first game that people will be like, oh wow, I really noticed the difference uh, yeah. if they have RTX. If you don't have RTX, it's still a beautiful game. I don't think you'll yeah. really mind. Uh, but I do think it's, it's neat if you have it. So uh, anyways, that's Control. I uh, definitely awesome. recommend it. Uh, as I said, I finished it. Um, it's great. Uh, that's about all I gotta say. So. Sweet. Yeah, looks good yeah. to me. Let's uh, leave it with Dr. Darling here. Uh, <laughs> he, can, he can rant for a while. And uh, yeah, thanks, Brad. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. We will see you back here soon. I'm pumped for this now.